Chris Hardwick, ladies hey, and gentlemen! Hey, everybody! First of all, I figured out what French pressing is. Oh, yeah? That's when you drop your beans into someone's upper lip and you make a nut mustache, like oh, a big old okay. French yeah. nut mustache. And they surrender! Oh. Yeah. Oh. Even if it's a woman, she sounds like that. Um, <laughs> our stage manager is actually holding the device we're going to show you. I think he wants to, to play with it or something. He's French can, pressing can it we as that we speak, back? actually. Can is that right? If we, and can we get back to you? Uh, hey, Andy. Yes. All right. Yes. He's not union, so change it up. Yeah, Thanks, Steve. <laughs> Let's see how this machine handles video, shall we? All right. It's time for Netbook Theater. MSI is helping to usher in the next generation of netbooks with the Wind U210. This little powerhouse packs a 12.1 inch LED backlit screen and ATI Radeon X1250 graphics card for some of the best video playback and gaming a netbook can offer. Add to that an Athlon Neo processor, two gigs of RAM and HDMI output, all in a package only 0.55 inches thick and you've got yourself the little computer that could for $430. I know. <laughs> I even watched the Super Bowl yesterday. I just watched Doctor Who all day. Oh, did I you? seriously did. I yeah, was, that was, I was my puppy day. bowling it picture in picture. Pl oh, play and, <laughs> and I mean, I mean, the, I mean, the game was in the picture in picture box. The oh. puppy bowl was the larger portion of the screen. Puppy bowling also sounds like something. Oh, Kevin, let's talk about yes. this. Uh, MSI normally does a great job with their laptop design. This one is a bit on the meh side. Yeah. It's only okay. At its thinnest point, it's about half an inch thick. The majority of it, though, is over an inch thick. It's a little unwieldy. I don't like it. Like, I wouldn't even want to bludgeon somebody with this laptop. <laughs> and it weighs a little over three pounds. It's a little on the heavy side. And it's got the protruding battery. Right. I mean, I don't, is that, was that a problem for you? That I, seems... Well, I mean, it, it's going to be a little uh, chunkier fitting into your backpack or whatever. Yeah. It does make a perfect handle for the, right. when, you, when, you, when you cart it around, like, I'm on a mission to get things done on a computer that's just okay. Uh, so, yeah. And the, the plastic, I don't, does it feel cheap? It, yes, it does. It's like does. recycled Stormtrooper. It and is like, recycled like Stormtrooper. It's cosplaying Stormtrooper, not yeah. actual Stormtrooper. When the Stormtrooper goes down, they just flame out the corpse inside and they <laughs> turn it into a laptop. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's, how they, that's how they make these. Is it, is it feel flimsy to you? And it, do, cheap? it does feel a little flimsy. I mean, you even see just like bouncing on it, you can, you can hear it. It, you yeah. know, it's it's not a not an expensive sounding device. Okay, well it is. It's it's actually a 12 incher, which is larger than most netbooks. I think at that really point it's a laptop, yeah. right? I mean, there, there, now there's all these these categories for mobile computing. Right. This is like ultra portable. Yeah. This is a lap pad. Yeah, an exactly. ultra net device. It's pretty okay. much a it's pretty much a laptop. It's a laptop. It's not so much a netbook. I well, don't think. Well, is the, the the 12 inch screen and the larger keyboard is that an advantage or does it just get in the way? I mean, it, it definitely helps. The keyboard is large enough to make typing comfortable, which a lot of netbooks don't have unless you got tiny meerkat hands. And we wish the touchpad were larger and the buttons uh, are also pretty stiff. And the 12 inches makes for a great screen. It, it is LED backlit. It's got 1366 by 768 resolution. It looks terrific. It does have tons of real estate, mm -hmm. but but overall, uh, you know, it's a it's a it's a pretty solid user right. interface. Well, and specs wise, it, it has it does have the goods. Two gigs of RAM, NVIDIA yes. Ion chipset, Athlon Neo processor. Yep. MSI, though, they chose for whatever reason, I don't know if it was a practical joke and someone didn't catch it before it got off the assembly line, Right. but they put Windows Vista on it. Hooray! And not XP or 7, and it's got to take a performance hit because of that, right? Yeah, it really, really does. Why, why would you do this? When you're booting up, it takes a ridiculous minute and five seconds to boot this what? puppy up. Yeah, this entirely defeats the purpose of having a netbook, which is supposed to be, like, ready to go at any time, uh, just like a high school student in sex. So PC Mark Vantage score an abysmally low 1,400 points. Wow. Now, even though the NVIDIA Ion graphics are supposed to give a huge performance boost, Vista was like, I'll take that boost, yoink. And that was pretty much that. Thanks. Overall, we were very, very disappointed because we've seen other netbooks do way better with the same hardware. So we were we were very confused by this. All right, well, 430 bucks. Um, it's not bad for the win. This is the U210. Right. Uh, on paper, it sounds good. Is it worth it? Well, before I get that, let me just tell you that we did contact MSI about they are coming out with a, an ex, with a Windows 7 version of this okay. uh, sometime soon. There was an upgrade. You could get a free upgrade to Windows 7, but that just expired. Oh, all I right. don't know why you wouldn't just have that forever, but they decided January was enough. <laughs> so, uh, all right, so as, as that stands. As, as it stands, I don't really think it's worth it. You know, MSI, like I said, they had this Windows 7 upgrade, but, but now it's you over. So, so if, you, if you really like the MSI design, maybe wait a couple months until the XP, the U230 is the name of that model. And that's, they say a few weeks, could be a few months. Right, we don't I, know I'm, exactly. I'm worried. Well, what are we giving this thing? How many seals? 
<clears throat> We're giving it, okay, okay, designer face, all right, Windows Vista, huge misstep. Two out of five, oh, wow. two out of five. All right, let me just. And they rejoiced. <laughs> uh, so that was it, two out of five. Sorry, right. you know, that's just. But, hey, gotta be honest, gotta, gotta be honest. Maybe the next one, maybe the yeah. next one, we'll I'm see. not trying to be jerks, just trying to that help you, the, the consumer. Clock.